Tom, just 16 years old. You could really just hear the heartbreak in her voice right now. She's supposed to go back to Ukraine in June. That's no longer happening right now. She says one day she hopes she can go back, but she knows her home will never be the same. Right now, she and her host parents are just trying to get her family to America, but every day is another obstacle. Uh, so the yellow one is with hers. A family in Montgomery uh, County standing with Ukraine I proudly. Was, while knowing the struggles Ukrainians are facing firsthand. I research everything. Anya is a 16 year old foreign exchange student from Ukraine who's been at Lake Creek High School in Montgomery ISD since the beginning of the school year. Her original host family was moving but then she met a girl named Samantha on her school bus. Samantha came off the bus one day and asked if we would take in a foreign exchange student. So I said, sure, let's ask your dad. But I think, why not? We'll do it. Nicole and Brian Boniface have two daughters of their own. They quickly fell in love with Anya, who's become a part of the family. But their role as Anya's host parents has taken on greater significance. Anya's family is stuck in Ukraine as they try to leave their homeland being attacked by Russia. That's so heartbreaking. I can't even, I can't even sleep. I can't do anything because I'm 24 or 7. I'm watching news. Anya's family is from Kiev, the capital, where Anya has been speaking with friends and cousins, taking shelter in bunkers without food and in the cold. My friends are scared. Everyone's scared. My family is scared. Her family managed to escape to a village near Poland, but they're having trouble getting to the border, unable to drive further. It's winter. It's cold. It's, you know, it's her mom, her nine-year-old sister, her grandmother and her great-grandmother who, you know, they're not physically capable. Her 98-year-old grandmother's not physically capable to walk 15 hours, so that's a struggle right now. Anya's father is also with them, but because all men 16 to 60 years old must stay in the country to fight, he won't be allowed to leave. I can't even think that he can come. It's just impossible. I can't. My mom just don't realize that he can come. Nicole and Brian Boniface are now trying to get Anya's family to America. They've started to crowdfund and the community has already raised thousands of dollars, all touched by Anya's story. Travel expenses, shelter, food, ev everything that they could need. For all the help, I'm so grateful. We have more information on how you can donate on our website. Brooke Taylor, ABC 13 Eyewitness News.